The next test we're going to do on this battery is a battery capacity test. Batteries age, just like all of us. As the battery ages, the active material on the plate falls away, effectively making the battery smaller and less able to uh, start our generators. So what we're going to do is use this device right here, which is capable of telling us if our battery has the capacity to do the job. To do a battery capacity test, we have to isolate the battery on a multiple battery system so that we're only testing one battery. In this particular case, again, we simply remove the cable from here, and that will effectively isolate this battery. At that point, we hook the red to the positive terminal and the black to the negative terminal. Now this is one of the newer battery testers that we have. It's very, very fast and very, very easy. What it asks you to do in here is choose the test, whether it's in the vehicle or out of the vehicle, and to make choices you can simply use the up or the down button. So in this case it says choose test, out of vehicle, and we hit enter. Select the rating of this battery. This battery, according to the information sheet on top of it, is rated at 1,000 cold cranking amps. So we're going to again hit enter because we want to use CCA or cold cranking amps as our test. And it's sitting at 770 right now. That's not good enough. We want it at 1,000. So keep pressing the up button until you hit 1,000. There we go. As soon as we hit that, Again, we hit enter, and it's testing. It takes just a moment for it to do that. It says that our terminal voltage on our battery is over 13, and that the battery was a good battery. And at that point, your testing is done on this particular battery. Again, if you have a multiple battery system, test every single battery, because one bad battery can bring down the entire system.